Good morning, everybody. We're back for another Whip It Up Wednesday crock pot collaboration. Gosh, that is such a mouthful. So, this is a collaboration with you guys already know all this, but I'm going to repeat it again. This is a collaboration between Mortal Mandy from Mortal Life, Lisa from Sutton's Days, Linda from Linda's Pantry, and Heather from the Needy Home Center, and me, Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen. And we're encouraging all of you to do this as well. If it comes out on Wednesday, great. If it comes out on Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Saturday, it doesn't matter. Um, so just make sure to leave your links down below so that way we can go check it out and add it to our playlist, which I will leave here. I think it's on this side. <laughs> One of them. So for today, I'm actually using two of my crock pots. I technically have four because I have three crock pots, two five quarts, one seven and a, seven and a half quart, and then my insta, instant pot, sorry, which is a eight quart. So I technically have four, but today I'm going to be using two of them because I'm going to be making ribs in oops ribs in one and baked potatoes in another one because I honestly guys can be honest I'm coming down with a nasty cold um, I've been battling colds for the past month and a half I swear joys of kids in public school and this weather so they love that you know they don't like to share much but they love to share germs what can I say so let's get started on this first I don't know what I'm gonna start with but we're gonna start with something first, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my ribs out of the package, rinsed off, and now I'm gonna cut them down to more manageable size for the crock pot. Let's cut this one down to more manageable size. Now I also have my oven preheating on the broil, well not quite the broil because my broiler doesn't work, never has, so frustrating. But if you have a broiler, get your broiler turned on and warming up. And that should be okay. Okay. So now what I want to do Besides curl up in my bed and die, is get these seasoned. So let's get these seasoned up. Go with my garlic powder. onion powder and oh that's cinnamon I don't want cinnamon <laughs> oh there it is I want my rib rub sides just kind of press that down in there and flip it over And same on the other side.
go. It's sticking. <laughs> Not getting as much out as I wish I was. <laughs> there we go. Now it's coming out. There we go. <laughs> it's a problem with homemade spices sometimes is they don't have all that added stuff to it, so they do clump up and stick together. So sometimes you got to maneuver with the spices. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in my preheated oven until the until it's um, kind of a goldeny brown color, but not it's not cooked by any means. So it normally takes about 10 minutes on each side. So and if you had a broiler, it won't take that long at all. Probably five minutes on each side. But I'll show you what I mean when I bring it out. Okay, so now that I've cleaned up from doing the meat, got my potatoes washed. Let's get the potatoes going. I don't do anything special with my potatoes. I clean them. I cut them in like just I don't cut it all the way through. I just make a cut on it. I know people poke it with a fork. Do whatever it is that you do. This is just how I do mine. I got to locate my margarine. Okay, so I hate these containers. Oop. Okay, so all I do, and if you use butter, use butter. I can't use butter. So my glob of that on there, I salt them up good. Not like overly, that's probably about like a pinch. it. I'm just going to keep doing that with all my potatoes. like being fancy with that one. Whoop. And I put the glob of butter right on the cut so in that way the butter melts into the cut instead of going all over the place and going wherever it feels like going. probably see these are going down in size that's because you know big one for the husband a little bit bigger for the boys and the smaller ones for Katie and I oh I might even turn these well two of them anyway because the kids don't like it I might turn these into potato jacks Ooh, that actually sounds really good potato jacks ribs some type of vegetable. I don't know what yet. I haven't thought that far in advance. Okay, so let's go put these in the crock pot. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I have my crock pot turned on already. It's been on for about half hour, just warming up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer the big ones on the bottom so they get the direct heat from the pot and the smaller ones just on top because I don't think oh I can maybe yeah it's close enough there we go okay so I've got them just layered just like that and say if I was cooking that chicken I just put it right on top so just gonna leave that. I'm gonna put a lid on that or a cover on it. Sorry, put a towel on there so the heat stays in. I just find this works better. There. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to forget about it. I'm going to let this go for six, eight hours and I'll show you what those look like when they're out. Okay, so my ribs are now out of the oven. I think you guys can see the little bit of, can you see that? I don't know. All I see is glare. I'm sorry guys if you can't see that. Um, it has a nice golden brown to it, but if it comes out of a broiler, it's really, it's really nice. Like I got some nice char on there. Now my crock pot has been warming up, same as the one for my potatoes. I'm just going to line these ribs. The ones with the bones, like the thicker bones, like these pieces, I try and lay closer to the bottom of the crock pot. And these ones just on top. That. It's just going to go in there. Set that aside. Okay, so now I'm going to get my sauce ready. I'm using sweet and sour barbecue sauce for this. And if anyone's wondering why I hold the lid down when I'm lifting it up, if you've ever had one of these lids fly off and hit you in the face, you learn real quick to hold these down when you're opening it. Okay. So to my barbecue sauce, I'm going to add just a little bit of Worcester sauce to it. Probably about a tablespoon. I'm going to set the lid back on it. Give it a shake so it mixes up in there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to scoot you over a little bit. And I'm just going to pour this over the ribs. Getting all that good stuff out. Actually. Then I'm just going to kind of spread it in amongst these, making sure they all kind of get a little bit of the barbecue sauce on them. Now some people add water to this. I don't. I find it dilutes the barbecue sauce and I don't like that. There we go. So now they all have a little bit of sauce on them. put a lid on it and forget about it for again six to eight hours this is on low and I will bring you guys back and show you what this looks like when it's done so we'll be back closer to dinner time okay guys now it's time to check these to see if they are done cooking it's just about four o'clock now so I just like checking Ooh, mm, smells good. Oh, yep. Yeah. Done. Okay, now to go check the ribs. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Can you see in there? try and bring you as close as I can the meat is pulling away from the bones which is what I want to see let's see if I can my cat's trying to hightail it down to the basement whiskers Oh yeah, that is definitely done. Beautiful. So I don't need to turn them up. I'll just leave them like this. 
until it's time for dinner and they can stay warm. So, we'll be back. Okay, and here is the finished product. This is my husband's plate, not my plate. I can't eat this much if I tried. So we got the baked potato with the brown beans in it, uh, or a potato jack. The pork ribs, the meat just falls apart, and just some boiled cabbage on the side. But there you go. Yummy. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.